EA Sports. It's in the game. How's it going, boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and it's time for another episode of Quick Tips. And this time, we're going to cover the one-handed windmill deke, the go-to deke in NHL 12. It's great for getting around computer defensemen and even human defensemen. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. For a right-handed player, what you want to do is hold down L2 or the left trigger, then push the right stick out to 9 o'clock, and while still holding down L2 or the left trigger, roll the right stick down between 7 and 8 o'clock, okay? Then from here, hold down L1 or the left bumper, and with the right stick, flick up. Okay, it's as simple as that. The hardest part of this deke is getting it one-handed, okay? Make sure you're holding down L2 or the left trigger when rolling the right stick back. If you're not holding down those buttons when you roll the right stick back, it won't go one-handed, okay? So work on that. Practice that. Everything else is easy about this deke. Now remember, when you flick it up at the end, make sure you flick up. If you flick to the left, you'll do that deke. And if you flick to the right, you'll do that deke. Make sure you flick directly up to do the one-handed windmill deke. All right, lefties, it's now your turn. The great Domsi is going to show us how to do it from the left side. Hold down L2 or the left trigger, then with the right stick push it out to 3 o'clock, and while still holding down L2 or the left trigger, roll the right stick down between 4 and 5 o'clock. Then hold down L1 or the left bumper and flick up on the right stick. It's as simple as that. Once again, the hardest part is going to be getting it one-handed quickly, okay? Go into practice mode and figure that out. The key is holding down L2 or left trigger when you're rolling it back, okay? Just remember that and it should come easy from there. And remember, when you're flicking it at the end, make sure you flick up. If you flick to the left, you'll do that deke, and if you flick to the right, you'll do that deke. You want to know what deeks you're doing out there. Flick directly up. So now let's take this deke into a game, and if you're a right-handed player, I suggest using it on the right side. See how I pull the deke off and the puck is traveling towards the outside of the ice? The other defender's not going to pick it up that way. If you're a left-handed player, I suggest the same thing. Use it on the left side. See how the puck is traveling towards the boards, not the middle of the ice? You won't force turnovers this way, okay? It takes a lot of room to do this deke. See here? I pull the deke off, and it works, but when I pick up the puck on the other side, I don't have a lot of space to do much, okay? The best time to pull this deke off is right in the neutral zone. If you can catch their defenders, pull it off, get the puck going right underneath his legs, and boom, you have enough time to do a shot or a cross crease, okay? So for the one-handed windmill deke, think, if you can pull it off, in the neutral zone, that is the best time. If you have to pull it off in the offensive zone, you might not have a lot of space. So think neutral zone. This deke is so good, it can even be used in a shootout against a human goalie. That's right. If you know the goalie's being aggressive coming at you with that flying poke check, pull off the one-handed windmill right in the slot to swing that puck right around him, okay? He won't know what's going on. When he does the flying poke check, he's attacking your body. So when you hold it out one-handed, it's way off to the left or the right. And it has a new lane to the net, and the lane should be wide open, okay? It's a great play. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the one-handed windmill deke. It has a lot of great uses, so be sure to learn them all. For Johnny Superman and the great Domsky, take it easy, boys, and we'll see you next time.